Welcome to A Celtic Halloween. My name is Mark Gunn, and I have some fun songs for you for this uh, Halloween. And we're going to start off with a ghost story, a murder story, a song of death, destruction. It's called Other Way. He rode into the night to see his lover the way the Smell of flowers in the air He passed out of care across a bridge all oh, that sad day When the shadow stepped from the rail From his saddle he sailed and his horse rode off over the way As the man was caught off guard The shadow struck him hard and his hopes rode off over the way Or the way, or the way, or the way, or the way And he beat the brigand thrice, the hate consumed him o'er the way. Then the man thought he'd won, till he felt the brigand son grab hold of him o'er the way. Then the thief took his revenge, and he beat the man unending with a cat of nine tails o'er the way. Well, he shrieked in the night, bloody by the fight, like a cat, he shrieked o'er the way. O'er the way, o'er the way, o'er the way. So the man lay where he fell, nothing left but the man's shell o'er the way. As he laid the body to rest, his love clutched her chest, her heart was robbed and killed on that day. Then she breathed her last breath, and blood stained the dress and the last that slew her man today. As her body fell to the ground, there was an echoing howl, the howls that helped him o'er the way. And his cash that he robbed with his son o'er the way. As they count out their change, they shout a loud and hollow names, for they were made rich on that day. Then the son went for his sister, found her dead with her blisters in the streets of blood o'er the way. Oh, her father couldn't stand, he found a picture in her hand. It was the man they killed o'er the way. So my name is Mark Gunn. I am sometimes known as the Kelp Father, and uh, Halloween is a great time of year to <coughs> celebrate and have some good music. Well, any time of year is a good time to have Celtic music. <coughs> it's also a good time of year to start buying Celtic CDs for Christmas and such. Start after this, after this, after this. But uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to sing you a song. I teach you a little bit of Gaelic. If you're not familiar, there's a term called phrase called slantia va, which means here's to your good health. Slantia means here's to your health. Va means good. And spelled completely different from what it sounds like. Just saying. Um, it's got a nice chorus. When I sing slantia va, you can shout it back to me. Okay? So it goes like this. Slantia va! Slantia va! Slantia va! Here's to your good health, one and all. If your soul feels rather thirsty, we hear the crate for call. Raise up your glass and slant your bar. That, that's your part, you see that? Many times. 
times in my life I forgot the kindness code I reap the sorry seeds that I sowed But when I gave instead of took That's when my spirit grew My charity turned into liquid gold Slanchava, 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 slanchava Here's to your good health, what it all If your soul feels rather thirsty When you hear the quick the call Raise up your glass of slanchava, slanchava now this song I like to think of as sort of Irish karma. Good thing to have uh, this time of year for Halloween. Your work week was a bear, and feeling rather low, you head down to the pub to watch the show. The air the singer makes you smile, and the beer it makes you glow, so buy a CD or two before you go. Slanchava, 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 slanchava! Here's to your good health, what and all. If your soul feels rather thirsty, Here's to your good health, one and all. If your soul feels rather thirsty, if you hear the great the call, raise up your glass of slanchava. All right. And for those who don't know, Halloween is based on well, it's many things. Um, the name comes from uh, back in the, I guess, the eighth century. There was uh, the church, the Catholic Church, set up November 1st as uh, All Saints Day, which meant the day before that was All Hallows Eve, uh, thus the name Halloween. However, a lot of the root, roots of Halloween are based on a, uh, a holiday called Samhain, which started, apparently it started uh, the 31st, October 31st, the evening, always the evening of November 1st. And uh, during that period, the Fae were more supposedly more easy to able to cross into um, our world, cross the thin veil, and thus ghosts and goblins and such became a valuable part of the Celtic Halloween tradition. This is a ghost story with a great horse. Johnny woke with an ache in his head, bad dreams had made him ill. And he grumbled dress, despite his arrest, as he made his way to the mill. Well, he never wanted to work that day, but the foreman had made himself clear. So Johnny dreamed of the eve to come, when he drink him beer after beer. Singing, I'll drink from dust till dawn, I'll drink it us today then. Yes, I'll drink from dust till dawn, I'll drink to the health of me. Went straight to his bones, though he wished that he had him some ale. Just one fine glass of that stout Guinness would hold him to the end of the trail. Well, his mouth had water, but thought of ale. By the time he'd arrived, he decided that not even work could keep him away from his friends and their favorite diet. He'd say, I'll drink from dust till dawn, I'll drink a toss day then. Yes, I'll drink from dust till dawn, I'll drink to the health of me friend. Johnny worked hard all the day, his mind away drinking alone. And he told his friends of the pledge he'd made and the fantasy that kept him up. Come hell or high water, I'll drink with you. Nothing could keep me away. When the day came to end, he left the friend. Together they walked and they sang. They sang, I'll drink from dust till dawn. I'll drink a toss day then. Yes, I'll drink from dust till dawn. I'll drink to the health of me. Scythe in his hand and an evil grin. Tis old death who cut Johnny down. Johnny's friend crossed himself as words were the truth as he told the story to the bar. And they all recalled Johnny's last words I'll drink come hell or high water. He sang, I'll drink from dust till dawn. I'll drink a toss day then. Yes, I'll drink from dust till dawn. I'll drink to the health of my friends.
Oh, they came to a bridge of rope, and there they met with a man. The scythe in his hand, and an evil grin. To the death who cut Johnny down. Johnny's friend crossed himself, I think I sang his verse. And he told the story in the bar. And they are a con. Johnny's last words, I drink some other kind of water. Oh, well, I uh, drink from dusk till dawn. I drink it till us live in. Yes, I drink from dusk till dawn. I drink to the health of me friends. Such a great course I had to do it again. Well, the door swung open, a cold wind blew in, and there stood a man, unafraid. He called for beer, they realized when near, it was Johnny come back from the grave! To so keep me away from work, for there's nothing I live for me there! But I told you today of the pledge I'd made, you can't keep a man from his beer. Oh, well, I uh, drink from dusk till dawn, I uh, drink until I stay then. Yes, I uh, drink from dusk till dawn, I uh, drink to the health of me. tuning here. So if you're not familiar with this instrument, this is the auto harp. It is not a traditional Celtic instrument. It is a uh, modern ad adaptation of an older instrument called the zither and uh, a great instrument in itself. Uh, it's a singer's, primarily a singer's instrument. You can play Irish tunes on it quite easily. Well, not easily. Once That's the uh, advanced level once you get there, like uh, a lot of Irish tunes. And if you become like a, an auto harp god, then you can start playing uh, Irish tunes at, you know, full Irish speed, um, which in itself is a challenge. Um, the next song that I want to sing is uh, something that I just learned, and I've long, I'm a, been a big fan of Christy Moore. He was one of my early influ influences with Irish music. Um, in fact, I'm planning on playing couple songs that I learned from him. Uh, well, this one and another one. Uh, this is a song, I don't remember who the author is, uh, a song called Ride On. I had a request at Johnny McCracken's pub not too long ago, and they wanted to hear um, some Christy Moore, and I was like, well, let's see. I, I don't actually know a lot of Christy Moore songs, but I sort of know this one. So I learned it for the, uh, for the show. And then I uh, relearned, actually learned it afterwards. I think the first time I just sang from the lyrics. Now I think I mostly know the lyrics. So if I screw them up, sorry. All right. This is right on. Oh my God. 
gut one last time turn the face an empty space where you used to lie look for the spark to light the night the teardrops in your eyes tradition, there's nothing wrong with, with uh, celebrating American Halloween style. And so I throw in uh, this song as a tribute to uh, anyone, anyone out there who wants to hear something different and fun, and this is The Psychopathic Chronic Schizophrenic Dollar Blues. <laughs> This is 
the problem when you start getting rushed and like I have basically like a few minutes between the time my daughter one of my daughters is sleeping and the other one's uh, watching some TV and um, so I have just a few minutes to actually record this this show for you and so um, it comes to you with complete with errors. <laughs> This next song is uh, an old sea shanty. In 1806, there's a big uh, battle um, in Trafalgar, Spain. 22 English ships versus a combined 36 Spanish-French ships. Not one English ship sank, and over half this French-Spanish armada sank into the ocean or fled. It was a great victory for Lord Admiral Nelson, who was shot several times during the, the battle, and uh, he was killed. They wanted to take his body back to England to celebrate this great victory. And, um, but how do you get a body from way down here in Spain all the way up into to England? It's a long sea travel. You have to preserve the body. How do you preserve it? Well, you put it in a barrel of rum. Now, sailors being who they are are not going to let a good barrel of rum go to waste. And thus came this song. A drop of nothing but wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of nothing but wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of nothing but wouldn't do us any harm. And we're all, hey, all behind. out there called Voltaire. He is not the old writer of old. This is a, he, he actually is a goth satirist musician. He does a wide variety of stuff, but he writes songs that I like to describe as songs you really shouldn't write about. Songs that you'll be laughing your tail off. You'll be laughing really hard, but you're like, don't, why did you do this? Don't do that. And thus comes this song. I'm in the graveyard there is no moon, something shuffling about Like rats on a tomb and it's freaking me out I've seen too many horror films lately So I walk faster, trying to get out of an evil dead flick Or to just laugh out loud at 
here comes this girl and she's too into me to be living. I know she's a zombie and I'm feeling her so wrong. It's just like a lyric. I hope to cuddle me tight, but instead of a kiss, she just tries to bite me. There's a look in her eye, a one that is still in its socket. I wish that you'd love me instead of eating me like steak. You've got zombie friends, so a threesome might be great. song of sorts. Some people, go, the song can go either way. Some people call it an Irish rebel song. Some people call it an anti-Irish rebel song. And I think the song can go either way. Because it's, uh, it just talks about the, it's called Patriot Game. And it talks about, well, basically, uh, the challenges or the, the problems with being a patriot, I guess. Come all ye young rebels and list while I sing. A love of one's country is a terrible thing. It banishes fear with the speed of a flame. And it makes us all part of the Patriot King. My name is O'Hanlon and I've just gone sixteen. My home is in Monaghan and where I was weaned Well I learned all me life that cruel England's to blame And so now I'm part of the Patriot King They told me how Connolly was shot in his chair His wounds from the fight all bloody and bare His fine body twisted All battered and lame They soon made me part Of the Patriot King It's nearly two years Since I wandered away From the look of a Italian On a bold IRA Well I heard of our heroes And I want the same my part in the Patriot King. And now as I lie here, my body all holds. I think of those traitors who bargain in souls. And I wish that me rightful had given the same. To those quizzlings who sold out the Patriot King.
thanks so much. I'm going to do one last song for you. And if you enjoy Celtic music then and you want to hear more Halloween Celtic music, well, then go to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, CelticMusicPodcast.com, where you can find, uh, I think there's at least three, maybe four uh, Halloween, Celtic Halloween slash Samhain uh, podcasts. Um, and they're all 100% free. So that's like four hours of Celt great Celtic Halloween music. So go check it out, CelticMusicPodcast.com. If you want to find out more about me, go to MarkGunn.com, and you can buy my CDs at CelticMusic.org. long time ago in Ireland, there's a terrible period in Irish history. It's another song that I learned from uh, uh, Christy Moore. The, um, but basically what is happening, the English were cutting down all the trees, and trees are very important to the Irish, number one, for religious reasons, um, you know, the, the Druids and whatnot. Number two, for religious reasons, barrels to make whiskey. <laughs> Now, interesting thing about uh, whiskey barrels is the whiskey kind of soaks into the barrel, and you can only use the barrel like two, three, five or six times, I think it is, uh, before the, the barrel becomes too saturated and you can no longer use it. So the Irish were, in fact, the first recyclers. That's true. Uh, if you look at the national logo of Ireland, the Irish harp, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Turn it sideways a little bit, and you had that green recycle symbol. They came up with that. Now you know. This is a song called Giant Jump Up. <laughs> they took those barrels that once held whiskey and poured it into the poured cider into it. Thus came the song. I'll tell you a story that happened to me one day as I was down over by the sea. The sun was bright and the day was warm. Says I quite right. Would it do me no harm? Hey! Was in and the call for a mob of stout. The barman, I'm sorry. Well, the beer sold out. Try whiskey or patty. And here's the wood says, I'll try cider. I prefer that it's good. Ho! Oh, I'll never, I'll never, I'll never pretend if I live to be a hundred. A hundred and ten. I fell to the ground and I could not get up. Had to drink it a quart of the Johnny Jump Up. After Lord, I heard a maid straight from the yard where I'm walking broadly. The big civic guard. Come here, me boy, don't you know I'm the law? Well, I opened with the fist and I shattered his jaw. He fell to the ground with his knees to pull it up, but it wasn't I did. It was the Johnny Jump Up. The next thing I met down in your other seat was a cripple on crutches. I said, he and me, I'm afraid for me like I didn't hate my heart. Won't you help me on down to the Celtic top bar? To Johnny, a pint of the cider so sweet. He treated out his crutches. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then like the page and subscribe to my uh, YouTube feed and I would love to see more of um, your song requests for maybe next Celtic Halloween. This is my second concert I've done. I did one last year and uh, so check it out. Go to my playlist. I have a Celtic Halloween playlist on my page and enjoy the music. Slot you.